In rows of blue plastic boxes stacked like a tiny apartment complex in the countryside, hundreds of thousands of mud crabs quietly grow each day. From these humble containers, they begin an extraordinary journey, crossing oceans, traveling thousands of miles until they finally appear on luxury dining tables in Singapore, Tokyo, and New York. Welcome to AgriWorks USA. I'm excited to take you inside the remarkable world of mud crab farming, where tradition and technology collide. In this episode, we'll discover how farmers turn small, thin crabs into premium, soft-shell delicacies worth up to $200 per kilogram. You'll see how vertical crab condominiums and advanced recirculating water systems solve age-old challenges like cannibalism, disease, and space, transforming a low-margin trade into a global industry. From hatcheries to fattening boxes, from harvesting to packaging, we'll follow the journey of these crabs from farm to feast. If you enjoy stories like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more from AgriWorks USA. Mud crab farming has become one of the most profitable sectors in aquaculture. Soft shell varieties in particular are valued as luxury seafood, fetching $100 to $200 per kilogram on the international market. For a single farm, this can translate into annual revenues of $200,000 to $400,000, far surpassing what traditional crops like rice or even shrimp can generate on the same land. Productivity has also grown dramatically with modern methods. A vertical farm can raise up to 100,000 crabs per cycle, producing around 900 kilograms each month, or one to two metric tons per year. What once required sprawling ponds and unpredictable harvests can now be achieved in compact facilities with consistent yields. Global demand ensures that nearly every crab finds a buyer. Singapore and Hong Kong prize them for restaurant dishes, Japan imports them for tempura, while the United States and Europe increasingly feature them in fine dining menus. From small family farms to large-scale exporters, Mud crabs have become a bridge between rural villages and the global luxury seafood market. For generations, mud crabs were raised in wide earthen ponds carved into coastlines and mangrove swamps. The approach looks straightforward. Add brackish water, release juveniles and wait for harvest. But in practice, it was fraught with inefficiency. Ponds demand vast coastal tracts, often several hectares, which are costly and increasingly scarce. Growth is painfully slow. A crab may reach 300 to 400 grams in three to four months, but nearly a year is required to surpass one kilogram. Losses are frequent. Crabs are territorial and cannibalistic, so if densities are mismanaged, mortality can exceed 30%. Worse, ponds are exposed to the elements. Sudden shifts in salinity, extreme heat, or contamination from nearby waterways can wipe out entire crops overnight. For many farmers, traditional mud crab farming felt less like a business plan and more like a gamble. Out of these limitations came a breakthrough. Vertical crab farming replaces sprawling ponds with stacked plastic boxes, miniature crab condominiums, linked to recirculating aquaculture systems. Clean filtered water stabilizes conditions while fattening technology upgrades thin crabs into Class A exports within weeks. This shift has turned crab aquaculture from an uncertain venture into a precise, scalable industry producing consistent, high-value harvests year-round. If you were a farmer, would you dare to invest in traditional ponds? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoy stories like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to follow AgriWorks USA. Every mud crab farm starts with the right broodstock. Large, healthy females are selected, each carrying thousands of eggs. When the eggs shift from orange to gray, signaling they are ready to hatch, the crabs are placed in individual trays so they can be monitored and protected. 
The eggs are transferred into whirlpool tanks, where constant circular flow keeps them oxygenated. Each tank is carefully labeled by age to track development. Once the larvae break free from their shells, they are moved to nursery tanks for their most vulnerable stage. Stocking takes place in the cool hours of morning or late afternoon to reduce stress. Ideal density is 1020 juveniles per square meter, giving each enough space to grow. Farmers feed them algae and seaweed, rich in nutrients that strengthen shells and promote healthy growth. At a stable temperature of 25-30 degree, survival rates rise dramatically, producing strong, uniform juveniles ready for fattening or transfer into vertical crab boxes. Are you surprised that each female crab can carry thousands of eggs? Do you think seaweed really helps juveniles grow faster? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Once juvenile crabs are strong enough, the next stage is fattening. Farmers purchase thin or undersized crabs, animals that would normally bring low market value, and place them individually into rearing boxes. Within just three to four weeks, these crabs gain 50 to 300 grams, transforming into premium export grade specimens. What was once considered a reject now becomes class A seafood. The most profitable step is soft shell production. Crabs naturally molt as they grow, shedding their hard shells. By trimming their small legs and closely monitoring their cycles, farmers can shorten the molting period and harvest them at the exact moment the new shell is still soft. Timing is critical. Within hours, the shell begins to harden again. Soft shell crabs are in high demand because nearly the entire body, up to 95% yield, is edible compared to just 70% for hard shell crabs. This not only increases profit margins, but also makes preparation easier for restaurants and consumers worldwide. Behind the scenes of every successful mud crab farm is precise water management. Crabs thrive only in brackish water, a delicate balance of fresh and salt. Farmers pump seawater inland, blend it with fresh water, and fortify it with minerals like calcium and magnesium to strengthen shells. Maintaining depth between 1 and 1.5 meters ensures stable living conditions. The lifeline of modern farms is the Recirculating Aquaculture System, RAS. Mechanical brushes trap waste, biofilters like K1 Media convert ammonia into safer nitrates, and UV sterilizers kill harmful microbes. This multi-step cycle keeps water clean, oxygen-rich, and stable in temperature, conditions critical to survival. Although initial investment can reach $70,000, $90,000, the system dramatically reduces mortality and boosts productivity. Feeding is equally meticulous. Crabs are given small fish, trimmings, or alternative proteins like worms and cattle skin. Farmers feed twice daily, then return to remove leftovers and waste to prevent pollution. Clean water, balanced diets, and careful filtration combine to create the foundation for high survival rates and export quality crabs. Do you think investing in advanced filtration systems is worth it compared to the risk of mass die-offs? Our perspective. When mud crabs are ready for market, timing is everything. Farmers harvest them carefully, often at night or early morning when temperatures are cooler and stress is reduced. Soft-shell crabs are collected immediately after molting, sometimes within just a few hours to ensure the shell remains tender. Hardshell crabs are harvested once they reach export size, typically above one kilogram. From the farm, crabs are transported in trays or chilled containers to modern processing facilities. Here, strict hygiene protocols come into play. Workers first wash and sort the crabs by weight and grade. Softshell crabs are packed whole in sealed trays or vacuum-packed bags, sometimes with chilled water to maintain freshness. Hard shell crabs are processed differently. Claws and legs may be separated, bodies split, and portions flash boiled before being cooled in ice water. Finally, products move along conveyor belts for weighing, packaging, and labeling. Some are sold live, 
others frozen or pre-cooked, destined for high-end restaurants and global seafood markets. This factory precision ensures both safety and premium quality from farm to table. Mud crabs are far more than a high-value export. They are deeply woven into the culinary traditions of Asia and increasingly the wider world. In Vietnam and Thailand, freshly molted soft-shell crabs are battered and deep-fried whole until crisp and golden, a delicacy where nearly every part is edible. In Singapore, chili crab, stir-fried in fiery, tangy sauce, has become a national icon. In the Philippines, fattened crabs are stewed in coconut milk or slow-cooked in rich tomato-based sauces, dishes that carry both comfort and prestige. Across the region, the same animal takes on new meaning, becoming a cultural signature at the table. Soft-shell crabs in particular have revolutionized dining. With up to 95% edible yield, they eliminate the messy work of cracking shells, offering convenience without sacrificing flavor. In Tokyo, they appear as delicate tempura, in Hong Kong, as aromatic wok-fried specialties, and in New York, as gourmet entrees in fine dining restaurants. From roadside stalls to glittering banquet halls, mud crab dishes connect humble coastal farms with global palates, turning aquaculture innovation into unforgettable culinary experiences that celebrate both heritage and progress. Have you ever tried a dish made from mud crabs? Share your experience in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more insights from AgroWorks USA. The rise of mud crab aquaculture has reshaped not only markets, but also coastal communities. Vertical farming and soft shell production reduce pressure on wild stocks long depleted by overfishing. By offering a reliable alternative to capture fisheries, farms help safeguard biodiversity while supplying sustainable seafood. For rural households, shifting from rice or low-value aquaculture to crabs creates a dramatic rise in income, often lifting families out of poverty. Training centers and model farms now spread knowledge, enabling smallholders to copy success across regions. Challenges remain. Recirculating aquaculture systems consume steady electricity and poor waste management can harm waterways. High stocking densities, while efficient, also raise the risk of disease outbreaks. Balancing profitability with environmental responsibility is essential. Ultimately, mud crab farming shows how innovation can transform livelihoods while raising urgent questions about sustainability, a story still unfolding in Asia's coastal villages. From tiny hatchlings in stacked boxes to prized dishes in luxury restaurants, mud crab farming has proven how technology can transform a fragile species into a global delicacy. Vertical systems and fattening methods now provide steady yields, higher incomes, and a reliable alternative to overfishing. The future will depend on smarter water systems, automation, and responsible growth. If these farms can balance profit with sustainability, they may become a model for aquaculture worldwide. So what do you think? Are soft-shell crabs truly the future of seafood farming? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more from AgroWorks USA.